This is Dr. G with naturalfoodsdiet.org. Now in my practice, more and more, I get notes from other physicians. Now this is especially true of the notes from the academic institutions. But these notes are pages and pages long. Sometimes they're like a book. I think once in the medical history on one of these notes, there was the mention of the patient's first girlfriend's eye color. Now, I do feel a little sad when I think of all the trees that we had to chop down to make this note, but damn, these guys are thorough. But then after a while, I realized when I looked at it closely, it was all canned crap being spewed out of an electronic medical record. And from now on, I'm going to call that the EMR. Now, once after getting one of these really fat notes, I innocently asked the patient, man, that doctor must have spent an hour with you. Well, here's what the patient told me. The visit was five minutes long. He didn't even touch me or ask me any questions. Huh. So I asked myself, what's really the push behind the EMR that the government is now mandating that us doctors use it? So I went looking around the websites and I looked at the websites that sell EMRs to, doctor, to doctors and some of their marketing. And they talked about how the EMR will raise revenues in your practice. Now it says without the EMR, many physicians will downcode their patients' visits because they're worried about an audit. And what that is, is if you don't document enough stuff in your note when you see a patient for the bill that you charge that patient, you may have to pay that money back if you get audited. Or you might even get accused of fraud. And there we're talking about jail time, baby. So with the EMR, all the documentation is taken care of by the software. So your butt's covered in the case of an audit. Well, that's great. You know, I like my butt covered. So this website goes on to say that with the EMR, your claims should slide through slick as snot. And, and that's not exactly the wording they use. But then it talks about the time it takes to generate a note. You know, write your note for what you told the patient. You either dictate it or type it. But the EMR will generate the note for you. Now that's the EMR I want to see. I guess the computer watches you and the patient and then writes down the note for you. I'm not sure how that works, although I'm still considering holding out for the next upgrade where I don't even have to go into the exam room. I'm sure that's on the horizon soon. Now, the other advantage of the EMR is it will automatically let you know when a patient needs to be seen again or what screening tests are due for that patient. And of course, that will increase the doctor's revenue by bringing the patient into the office more often. Now, in my view, there's only one downside to this, and that is, I believe our healthcare system is the leading cause of death in the United States. In fact, one independent study put the toll at over 700,000 people a year. So I guess in a way, that means that the, the EMR will reduce healthcare costs, and that's by killing off the patients. That's not exactly the way I was hoping to reduce healthcare costs, but I guess, you know, any way is better than none, right? So then the website on EMRs talks about other revenue streams, like extra payments from Medicare and the government for meeting quality standards. Now, the unfortunate thing is how they define quality. Now, you might think quality is restoring a person to full health. That's how I think of quality. But no, that's not part of quality according to the government. Quality is defined as following the algorithm. Now by algorithm, I'm not talking about Al Gore and no, Al Gore did not invent this. Now the algorithm is made by experts. Now most of these experts are paid by the drug companies or their decisions are based on flawed research that's sponsored by the drug companies. So the algorithms always include drugs. Now the other part of quality is getting your patients screened so you can get them on risky, needless treatments. 
Now, I want you to know, I'm not against a physician or anyone else that provides a needed service to be paid well. I mean, look at what our culture pays quarterbacks and pitchers and singers. Now, someone that has the ability to save your life and is highly skilled deserves to be well paid. But the EMR, more often than not, gets the doctor focused on clicking boxes on the computer screen, almost like they're playing a video game. And this, uh, and because of this, he or she may not have the time to investigate or even think about the cause of your problem. At best, they'll pres prescribe a drug. In fact, they'll e-prescribe a drug, and this drug only suppresses symptoms. And in our dysfunctional medical system, that's precisely the action for which your doctor will get rewarded. Now in the comments section below, would you please tell me about your electronic medical record story if you have one? And good or bad, I'm open to everything. This is Dr. G, thanks for watching.